Good morning. Welcome to the National Shrine of the Sacred Heart. Please all kneel for our daily morning offering. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. God our Father, I offer you my day. I offer you my prayers, thoughts, words, actions, and sufferings in union with the Sacred Heart of Jesus, who continues to offer himself in the Eucharist for the salvation of the world. May the Holy Spirit who guided Jesus be my guide and my strength today, so that I may witness to your love. With Mary, the mother of our Lord and of the Church, I pray especially for the intentions of the Holy Father for this month. We pray for those persons living on the margins of society in inhumane life conditions. May they not be overlooked by institutions and never be considered of lesser importance. I also offer the intentions of all my relatives, friends, and my personal intentions today. Amen. Please remain kneeling for the ninth day novena to San Lorenzo Ruiz. Altogether, Almighty God, you blessed St. Lorenzo Ruiz with a company of ardent martyrs who encouraged, strengthened, and prayed for each other until they were slaughtered. They died singing psalms in your honor eager to meet you in the kingdom promised to all the faithful. Eternal life filled their hearts as they withstood terrible tortures and pains. Saint Lorenzo Ruiz, be with us in our journey in this valley of tears. Inspire us that the thirst for eternal life may possess us and that with your company, this longing for eternal life may be intensified and thus we may be unmindful of sacrificing and suffering for Jesus' sake. Stir in us a deep love for heaven and a yearning to reach it soon. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good morning once again, brothers and sisters, and welcome to our Eucharistic celebration. Today is Wednesday of the 25th week in Ordinary Time. Today in this Mass, we celebrate the memorial of St. Vincent de Paul, and also we honor our Mother of Perpetual Health. Come, let us sing, let us praise the Lord, and gather in His altar to worship His name. Come, let us pray, let us open our hearts to receive His blessings and to feel His love. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins 
and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to, to Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that, that I, have I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what, what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who for the relief of the poor and the formation of the clergy endowed the priest St. Vincent de Paul with apostolic virtues, grant, we pray, that afire with that same spirit we may love what he loved and put into practice what he taught through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Ezra. At the time of the evening sacrifice, I, Ezra, rose in my wretchedness and with cloak and mantle torn, I fell on my knees, stretching out my hands to the Lord my God. I said, My God, I am too ashamed and confounded to raise my face to you, O oh my God, for our wicked deeds are heaped up above our heads, and our guilt reaches up to heaven. From the time of our fathers, even to this day, great has been our guilt, and for our wicked deeds, we have been delivered up, we and our kings and our priests, to the will of the kings of foreign lands, to the sword, to captivity, to pillage, and to disgrace, as is the case today. And now, but a short time ago, Mercy came to us from the Lord our God, who left us a remnant and gave us a stake in his holy place. Thus, our God has brightened our eyes and given us relief in our servitude. For slaves we are, but in our servitude, our God has not abandoned us. Rather, he has turned the will of the kings of Persia toward us. Thus, he has given us a new life, to raise again the house of our God and restore its ruins, and has granted us offense in Judah and Jerusalem. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed be God who lives forever. Blessed be God who lives forever. He scourges and then has mercy. He casts down to the depths of the netherworld. And he brings up from the great abyss. No one can escape his hand. Blessed be God who lives forever. Praise him, you children of Israel, before the Gentiles. For though he has scattered you among them, he has shown you his greatness even there. Blessed be God who lives forever. So now consider what he has done for you and praise him with full voice. Bless the Lord of righteousness and exalt the King of ages. Blessed be God who lives forever. In the land of my exile, I praise him and show his power and majesty to a sinful nation. Blessed be God who lives forever. Bless the Lord, all you his chosen ones, 
and may all of you praise His Majesty. Celebrate days of gladness and give Him praise. Blessed be God who lives forever. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus summoned the twelve and gave them power and authority over all demons and to cure diseases. And he sent them to proclaim the kingdom of God and to heal the sick. He said to them, Take nothing for the journey, neither walking stick nor sack nor food nor money, and let no one take a second tunic. Whatever house you enter, stay there and leave from there. And as for those who do not welcome you, when you leave that town, shake the dust from your feet in testimony against them. Then they set out and went from village to village, proclaiming the good news and curing the diseases everywhere. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters. Good morning, Father. Good morning also to those who are joining us in this celebration through live streaming. Mercy came to us from the Lord our God. I think these words from the book of the prophet Ezra summarize the uh, reflection or the, the theme of our readings for today. No? In the first reading, Ezra the prophet listed the failings of the people of Israel and admitted the guilt before the Lord. Nilista niya lahat ng mga pagkukulang, ng mga kasalanan ng kanyang mga kababayan at yun ay inamin niya sa Diyos. Actually, the first reading somehow teaches us both the spirit of faith and trust in God especially in the mercy of God. Imagine daw po siguro the difference in the situation, for example, of a man accused before the court of law. Kapag mayroong inakusahan ng kasalanan at dinala sa korte, I'm sure the person accused will get you know, the best lawyer, spend a lot of money, no? and the lawyer at all costs will defend his client. No, surely, no, the lawyer will not admit to the crimes of his client kahit na makita na niya na guilty no, yung kanyang client. No? And before the judge will do everything to clear the name of the accused. Gagawin niyang lahat no, to excuse the client. Gagawin niyang lahat to protest that there is no proof against him. For as long as may nakikita siyang small window para mapatunayan na yung kanyang client ay innocent before the judge and the people gagawin niya. In the court of law, no one can expect not mercy but justice. Ang hinahanap kasi sa korte ay katarungan at hindi awa. And proven guilt is met with a sentence in proportion to the crime committed. Ito ang natagpo ang kasalanan. Ito ang katumbas niyan na kaparusahan. Yun ang katarungan sa court of law. Now, let us contrast that with what we find in the first reading today. No? We find here Ezra, the representative of the people of Israel, in the presence of God. Although ashamed, makita natin yan dun sa first reading, he was ashamed to admit before God the sins of his people. Hiyang-hiya siya, nahihiya siyang 
tanggapin. Pero ano pa rin ang kanyang ginawa? He did not hesitate to admit guilt and plead for mercy. Hindi siya nahiya na aminin sa Diyos ang pagkakamali ng kanyang bayan at humingi ng awa at habag. He approached God with optimism born of previous experience. Bakit malakas ang loob niyang umamin? Di ba pag may kasalanan ka, ang unang gagawin mo, magtakip ng sarili. Ang unang gagawin mo, gumawa ng palusot. No? O kaya, aaminin mo, pero meron ka agad kasunod na, eh kasi kaya ako lang naman nagawa. No? Meron ka agad paliwanag para iyong, sa, sa iyong sarili. Si Ezra, walang, walang ganong palusot. Inamin lang niya sa Diyos. At bakit daw? Because of an experience with God, the God of mercy. He recalled how God has shown mercy to His people by rescuing them from bondage in Babylon. Yan yung naririnig natin no? sa mga nagsisimba sa inyo every day. Since Monday, ito yung naririnig natin from the prophet Ezra. How they were freed from Babylon. How King Cyrus was used by God to liberate the Jewish people. No? Do natin nakita kung paano ang Diyos naging matapat at mahabagin sa kanyang bayan. Kaya nga nung na-realize ito ni Ezra, teka, naisip niya, God is merciful. God is faithful to His people. God has set us free from the hands of the Babylonians. Kaya itong Diyos na ito, palagay ko wala, wala nang ibang gagawin na masama naman sa atin kung aaminin ang ating kasalanan sa Kanya. And that was what led Ezra to admitting before God the mistakes, the evil that His people has done. My dear friends, we can approach God with the same optimism Marami sa atin, takot magkumpisal, nahihiyang magkumpisal, o talagang ayaw magkumpisal, o ayaw umamin sa kasalanan maging sa ating kapwa-tao. Matatakot ka lang umamin daw siguro na ikaw ay nagkamali sa isang tao, sa magulang mo, sa asawa mo, sa anak mo, kung wala kang previous experience of mercy from them. Look at the prodigal son. The parable. Sabi nila, the prodigal son would not have returned to the father if he knew that his father was vengeful. Kung ang pagkakilala niya sa tatay niya ay eh, parurusahan siya, sasaktan siya, palalayasin siya, hindi na siya babalik. But because he knew his father was merciful and kind, kaya naglakas loob siya, babalik ako sa aking ama. Each one of us, in his own way, has experienced God's mercy. Naranasan na natin ang awa ng Diyos. But all of us look back upon the great event that we celebrate in the Holy Mass. Meron tayong isang common experience, sabihin na natin, na binabalik-balikan, na pinagdiriwang natin sa banal na misa. Christ shedding His blood so that our sins may be forgiven. Yun ang pinakapinangahawakan nating lahat. Si Jesus nga, inalay ang buhay dahil sa ating mga kasalanan. This God is a God of mercy. In Him, we can find rest. Our God is a God of mercy and compassion. No matter what our failings, we can approach Him with faith and trust that He will forgive us. Babalikan lang natin ang ating karanasan sa Diyos at mamumulat na tayo. Hindi tayo sasaktan ng Diyos. Hindi niya tayo ipagtatabuyan. Our God will welcome us back into His loving arms if we are sincere and if we have remorse you know, from the sins that we have committed against Him. Amen.
the Lord Jesus sent the apostles with minimum of provisions, but with power and authority. Let us pray that more and more people will collaborate in building the kingdom of God on earth. Our response, Father, open our hearts to your word. Father, open our hearts to your word. That all the members of the church, the clergy, the consecrated people, and the lay faithful may collaborate in the common mission of announcing the gospel of Christ to men and women of today, we pray. Father, Father open, open our, our hearts, hearts to your word. That missionaries may go forth and serve with the same courage that the Holy Spirit stirred up in the apostles. May they speak out with enthusiasm, boldness, and apostolic fervor, we pray. Father, Father open, open our, our hearts, hearts to your word. That people may welcome the word of God, preached and witnessed to by the ministers of the word, we pray. Father, Father open, open our, our hearts, hearts to your, to your word. word. That the love of Jesus that we have received may make us speak of him as our beloved, and share his love with others, we pray. Father, open our hearts to your word. That the Blessed Virgin Mary, star of the new evangelization, may help the church to become a home for many peoples who believe in Christ through her missionary activities, we pray. Father, open our hearts to your word. For the intentions of our parish community, the particular petitions and thanksgiving intentions being offered in this Mass for our personal intentions and for the eternal repose of the souls in purgatory, we pray. Father, open our hearts to your word. Almighty Father, may your word resound in all the earth by preaching and by modern means of communication. Compelled by your love, may we say with St. Paul, Woe to me if I do not preach the gospel. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God. The Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, who enabled Saint Vincent to imitate what he celebrated in the divine mysteries, grant by the power of this sacrifice, we too may be transformed into an oblation acceptable to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for us on the festival of St. Vincent, you bid your church rejoice so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life. Teach her by his words of preaching and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. 
Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we now dare to say, Our Father, who art, who art in, heaven, in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. We will receive communion by rose. Please remain seated and wait for the ushers to guide you to the communion line. Thank you. O sacred heart, O love divine, do keep us near to Thee, and make our love so like to Thine, that we may wholly be. Heart of Jesus, hear, O heart of love divine, listen to our prayer, make us always thine, O temple pure. Of gold, our heaven here below. What sweet delight, what wealth untold from thee do ever flow. Heart of Jesus, he. O heart of love divine, listen to our prayer, make us always thine. Let us pray. Renewed by this heavenly sacrament, O Lord, we implore that just as we are prompted by St. Vincent's example to imitate your Son in his preaching of the gospel to the poor, so too may we be sustained by his prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless us, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go to love and to serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Immaculate Mother, to you do we plead to ask God our Father for help in our need. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. We pray for our country. 
country, the land of our birth. We pray for all nations that peace be on earth. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. Novena to our Mother of Perpetual Help. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Brothers and sisters, as children of our Blessed Mother, we are gathered before her miraculous picture to honor her and to pray for all our needs. Unworthy children that we are, let us first of all ask God's mercy and pardon. All together, Merciful Father, you sent your Divine Son to redeem us by his death and resurrection and to give us new life. By this, you make us your children, to love one another in Christ. How many times in the past we have forgotten the sublime dignity. We have sinned against our brothers and sisters. We have offended you. Merciful Father, forgive us. Repenting sincerely of our sins, we ask your mercy. May we always live as your truly devoted children. Please all kneel for the Novena prayer. Dear Mother of Perpetual Help, from the cross Jesus gave you to us for our Mother. You are the kindest, the most loving of all mothers. Look tenderly on us, your children, as we now ask you to help us in all our needs, especially this one. While you were on earth, dear mother, you willingly shared in the sufferings of your son, strengthened by your faith and confidence in the fatherly love of God, you accepted the mysterious designs of his will. We too have our crosses and trials. Sometimes they almost crush us to the ground. Dearest mother, share with us your abundant faith and confidence in God. Make us aware that God never ceases to love us that he answers all our prayers in the way that is best for us. Strengthen our hearts to carry the cross in the footsteps of your divine Son. Help us to realize that anyone who shares the cross of Christ will certainly share his resurrection. Dearest Mother, as we worry about our own problems, let us not forget the needs of others. You always love others so much. Help us to do the same. While praying for our own intentions and for the intentions of all here present at this novena, we earnestly ask you, our Mother, to help us comfort the sick and the dying, give hope to the poor and the unemployed, heal the brokenhearted, walk in solidarity with the oppressed, teach justice to their oppressors, and bring back to God all those who have offended Him. Dearest Mother, help us to avoid sin which separates us from our Heavenly Father and from one another. Full of trust in you, we place ourselves under the mantle of your maternal protection and confidently hope for your compassionate intercession. Amen. Prayer for the Home Mother of Perpetual Help, we choose you as Queen of our homes. We ask you to bless all our families with your tender motherly love. May the sacrament of marriage bind husbands and wives so closely together that they will always be faithful to each other and love one another as Christ loves His Church. We ask you to bless all parents. May they love and cherish the children whom God has entrusted to them. May they always give them the example of a truly Christian life. Help them to bring up their children in the love and fear of God. Bless all children that they may love, honor, and obey their fathers and mothers. To your loving care, we especially entrust the youth of today. Give us all a sense of responsibility that we may do our part in making our home a haven of peace, like your own home at Nazareth. We take you as our model. 
Help us to go daily in genuine love of God and neighbor so that justice and peace may happily reign in the entire human family. Amen. Petitions to our Mother of Perpetual Health. Holy Mary, Holy Virgin conceived without sin, our Mother of Perpetual Health, we sinners call to you that we may be filled with the Holy Spirit and become courageous witnesses of Christ's love for all people, that we may be more and more like our Divine Lord as you were, that we may be meek and humble of heart like your own Son, Jesus, that we may fear losing God's friendship forever by unrepented sin, that we may see Christ's mercy and forgiveness constantly in the sacrament of penance, that we may be aware of God speaking to us in the events of daily life, that we may pray daily with love and trust, especially in moments of temptation, that we may understand the value of worshiping God together in the Eucharist, that we may grow in the love of Christ and neighbor by frequent communion, that we may reverence our bodies as temples of the Holy Spirit, that we may strive to be true Christians by our loving concern for others, that we may proclaim the dignity of work by doing our own work conscientiously, that we may forgive from our hearts those who have wronged us, that we may see the evil of seeking our own interests at the expense of others, that we may work for the just distribution of this world's goods, that we may share our talents with others for the good of the community, that we may accept our responsibility in the community in the spirit of genuine service, that the Holy Spirit may guide and strengthen Pope Francis, the bishops, and the clergy. That we may be blessed with an increase of priestly and religious vocations. That we may care for and protect God's creation. That we may defend the human dignity and the sanctity of human life from conception to natural death. That we may promote the equality of men and women that there will be a genuine and lasting peace in the world, that we may bring the knowledge and love of Christ to those who do not know Him, that we may be aware of our dependence on God in the midst of human achievements, that we may be ready at death to enter the home of our Heavenly Father, that we may be comforted at the death of our dear ones by our hope in the risen Lord, that our departed brothers and sisters quickly share in your Son's resurrection. Let us now pray in silence for our own intentions. All together, Holy Mary, pray for us, pray for all the people of God, may all experience God's perpetual help. Lord, you gave us Mary to be our mother, ever ready to help us. Grant us the grace to have recourse to her in all our needs. Amen. Please all rise and let us all together sing Mother of Christ. Mother of Christ, Mother of Christ, what shall I ask of Thee? I do not sigh for the wealth of earth, for the joys that fade and flee, but Mother of Christ, Mother of Christ, this do I long to see. The bliss untold 
which your arms enfold, the treasure upon your knee. Mother of Christ, Mother of Christ, I toss on a stormy sea. Oh, lift your child as a beacon light to the port where I fain would be and mother of Christ mother of Christ this do I ask of thee when the voyage is o'er oh stand on the shore and show him at last to me. Please all kneel for the thanksgiving prayer. All together, Lord Jesus Christ, truly present in the most blessed Eucharist, we adore you. It has pleased the Father that in you all his fullness should dwell, and that through you he should reconcile all things to himself. Grant us a grace to be truly grateful for all that our Father has done for us. Grant that we may be truly sorry for our sins and renew our lives. Through you, we thank the Eternal Father for the gift of life. He has created all the wonderful things of this world for us. May we learn to use them well so that through them we may grow in love for Him. Above all, we thank our Father for sending you to us as the greatest expression of His love to save us and all creation by your death and resurrection. We thank you, Lord, for giving us your own mother to be our mother of perpetual health. May the countless favors we have received through her intercession and especially through the novena inspire us with greater confidence in God's loving mercy. Grant that we may always do the holy will of God and persevere in his love. To the most holy trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, be honor, glory, and thanksgiving forever and ever. Amen. Prayer for the sick. Lord Jesus Christ, you bore our sufferings and carried our sorrows in order to show us clearly the value of human weakness and patience. Graciously hear our prayers for the sick. Grant that they who are weighed down with pain and other afflictions of illness, may experience God's healing power and comfort. Restore them to health in body and soul so that they can continue to serve you and their brothers and sisters. Amen. Please all stand and let us all together sing Hail Mary. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Good morning, and have a blessed day.